It has been almost two weeks since the popular singer Tina Turner passed away. Many expressed their heartfelt condolences and paid tributes to the proud Mary songstress, as she had impacted the lives of so many people. Several of her relatives, close companions, and fans have recently praised Tina Turner for her bravery and perseverance throughout those years. However, a particular individual who knew Tina better than anyone else has now spoken out about the deeply personal hardships the musician was experiencing before she was diagnosed with medical issues. Hey, I'm Kat. Welcome back to Rumor Has It. For years leading to her death, Tina Turner suffered many health battles, including kidney problems which she dealt with in 2017, a stroke in 2013, and PTSD from her relationship with her ex-husband Ike Turner amongst many other illnesses. But before the period Tina began to suffer from these illnesses, she had already been going through much more agonizing times. A lot of people don't know this because Tina never spoke about it openly. But someone close to her, like her daughter-in-law, Afita Turner, was aware of Tina's deep-rooted sadness. She's a mother. You can never forget this. If you lost a children, so if you lost, lost to lo love one, every morning and night when you come back from work and you go back to reality, you're going to cry. This is they go away. No, they don't go away. Every day they come to your face like that. You have to take it. One week after the result, he passed. There's nothing I can do. And now, his mother passed yesterday. Um, I mean, the day before, excuse me. But we know she was ill for a long time, but she was very strong. So, you know, for 2017 to now, she was fighting and, you know, doing very well. So. Afida is a front media personality who's known for her great singing talent. Her singing career began back in 1998 when she released her single titled Crazy About You. Her inspiration for singing was born from a genuine love for songs, and she grew into becoming a popular singer upon releasing various singles and a debut album. While Afita looked up to Tina a ton as she learned so much about the entertainment industry from the late singer, she became very close to Tina after she got married to the late singer's son. Afita was married to Tina's son, Ronnie Turner, for 16 years until Ronnie's death from colon cancer in December 2022. When Ronnie died, Afita was extremely grief-stricken and found it hard to get over her husband's death. For months, she made posts about her loss and how she felt about Ronnie's death. She once made a post with the following caption, My God, Ronnie Turner, a true angel, huge soul, my husband, my best friend, my baby, I was your mummy, your nurse, your little monster. I did the best to the end, this time I was not able to save you, love you. For this 17 years, this is very, very, very bad. I'm very mad. This is a tragedy. You with your brother Craig and your father Ike Turner and Aline. Rest in paradise. So unfair. While including lots of crying and heartbreak emojis. Even though Afita loved Ronnie so much, she admit that he portrayed certain inhumane behaviors. This was one of the things about Ronnie that broke Tina's heart. Afita claims that the American singer would talk about how much she feared that Ronnie was going to become abusive like his father, Ike Turner. Ike abused Tina for several years while they were together, starting from their wedding night when he forced her to go to a brothel. She said in her 1986 memoir titled I, Tina, that Ike used to turn her nose into a punching bag, gave her third degree burns on her face, and also broke her jaw at some point. This would later traumatize the singer for years, who said that she was haunted by the memory she had with Ike as the mistreatment misfollowed her around like a curse. Knowing how much she suffered while she was married to Ike Turner, the proud Mary Singer didn't want anyone to go through the same terrible experience she did if her son Ronnie happened to be anything like his father in that regard. Afita claims that Tina sometimes told her, you don't want to stay with him, he's going to become like his father, while telling her to avoid Ronnie by all means. Ronnie's behavior must have been extremely terrible because it's very rare for any mother to outrightly say anything like that about her son especially to the extent of not wanting any woman to even be with him for fear he might mistreat Afita just like his father did Tina. According to Afita, this caused Tina so much grief, coupled with the fact that she began to suffer from various ailments afterwards. To make matters worse, Tina's fears of Ronnie inheriting the bad behaviors of his father had come true. Afita claims that the singer's son did exhibit similar abusive traits that his father had, but also that Ronnie stopped and turned a new leaf later on. At first, he was kind of like his father, but after that, he was going very well, Afita said in an interview. 
She also recalled to the media that she warned her late husband that she would leave him if his behavior persisted. Afterward, Ronnie began making efforts to become a better husband to Afita, who says, he made a very big effort to keep me. In the beginning, it was very hard because I wasn't willing to stay with him. Before meeting and falling in love with Avita, Ronnie Turner was a terrible drug addict who had a history of drug-related crimes. He was once busted in August 1999 for possession of cocaine and also selling hard drugs. Two years earlier, he had also been apprehended for possessing a controlled substance. Ronnie's drug addiction was mirroring his father's struggles with drugs. According to Tina, Ike was big on drugs, which affected his behavior and was one of the reasons she had to end her marriage with him, apart from the fact that he was abusing her. Seeing Ronnie going through the same path was a sore sight for Tina, and she dreaded the day Ronnie would begin to act like Ike. Afida also claims that Ronnie was a heavy drinker when she first met him, but she made him quit the habit after some time. Afida says that Tina struggled and was extremely worried about Ronnie's behavior. Then he passed away, and according to Afida, Tina wouldn't stop crying herself to sleep for a long time. If you lose a child or a loved one, you're going to cry every morning and every night, Afida said. It hurt Tina more because just in four years, she'd lost two of her sons, as Craig, her first son, died at the age of 59 after a self-inflicted gunshot wound in 2018. According to Afida, the death of Craig was a heart-wrenching loss that Tina carried with her as the day passed by. Craig was Tina's son from her true lover, Raymond Hill, also known as the King of Rhythm. She gave birth to him when she was only 18 years old. When she got the news of Craig's suicide, the singer was in shock. At the time, Tina claimed that she'd always thought Craig was extremely happy and would have never thought that he had suicidal thoughts. Especially because he found a woman he loved and was planning to introduce her to Tina. I still don't know what took him to the edge, Tina told BBC. Because at that stage, he had said to me that he had never found a woman that he felt that way about. He was bringing her to meet me for his birthday in August. He had decorated his apartment that I bought him years ago, the popular singer said while expressing her distraught and confusion over Craig's death. When Tina lost her second son, Ronnie, barely four years later, it felt like all hell was let loose. According to Afida, both the singer and herself were traumatized by Ronnie's death. Afida said in an interview, It destroyed me. It traumatized me. It was hard for me to stay in the house. I lost weight. She continued, Tina was already extremely sick when Ronnie was diagnosed. She couldn't fly to Los Angeles and care for him. I had to do it all on my own. She also added that Ronnie portrayed the strength and resilience his mother had as he fought hard against the disease until it finally took him. While going through the heartbreak of losing both of her sons, Tina was dealing with an array of diseases. Tina went through surgery for a kidney transplant after she was diagnosed with intestinal cancer in 2016. But Afida claims that Tina's Buddhist faith was the only thing that got her going. The practices and chants kept the queen of rock and roll grounded and a little bit at peace. However, Tina portrayed a level of strength that is extremely admirable, despite going through so much distress. She was ill for a long time, but she was extraordinarily strong too, Afita said during an interview with The Post. She was fighting for her life from 2017 until now. We knew how sick she was, but she was doing so well that this wasn't expected, the French musician finished. While noting that Tina Turner, who had an amazing journey in the music industry, also had her terrible times, Afita praised that the singer is rewarded by getting to meet her sons again in heaven. Afita claims that Tina wasn't able to form a tight bond with her sons like she wanted to. She says they never had time to spend together, and now all three of them are together. The news of Tina Turner's death hit her family, including Afida, so hard as they were just grieving the death of Ronnie, Afida's husband. But that's all we have to say today. What are your thoughts on the troubles Tina Turner faced throughout her life before her passing? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. We love reading what you have to say.